One month after Hurricane Ida's landfall and parts of Jefferson Parish are still trying to recover, especially down in Lower Jefferson. A lot of people there are still without power. Leslie is joining us with more on that. And the lower part of Jefferson was severely hit. And without power a month later, can you yeah. imagine? It's just completely heartbreaking. Jefferson Parish officials gave an update on debris removal this week. We're told more than 594,000 yards of debris has been picked up across the parish. Power has been restored for almost everyone except our neighbors in Grand Isle. They're still without power. Intergy anticipates restoration sometime in October. Meanwhile, Grand Isle is still closed to everyone but the people who live there as locals continue to try to rebuild. In a posting to the town's website, officials say the widespread devastation caused the town council and the mayor to make the decision. Every home on the island reported damage and around 40 to 50 percent of those homes were completely destroyed. Down in Lafitte, businesses are starting to return, but with a long road ahead. Duke Carter actually caught up with one business that recently reopened this week. Down in Lower Lafitte, there are signs of activity of people just trying to get back to normal after the island impact of the region. This is Captain Shaw working very hard to get rid of the mud that's stuck in the harbor he owns. This family-run business, Jean Lafitte Harbor, is also open. This is for the first time since the storm hit the area. Man, I, I think we're still reeling from it, to be honest with you. Because while the shop looks nice now, it did not after Ida. Shaw says the damage is just unimaginable. I don't, I don't think any of us has grasped how bad it's actually been yet, you know? Um, it's almost like losing a, a family member, you know what I mean? It takes you a little while to and really uh, take it all in and, and, and understand exactly the, the damage. Because this business is taking baby steps to recovery. There were 15 rental cabins people could rent. Two are now standing at the Ida. And a lot of boats are stuck, and Shaw is grateful for the help that he's getting. But he, like many others, says more is needed. You know, you need something, you order it, it comes in. You don't have that right now, so we're having to do some really backwood stuff to try to get things done you know what i mean and, and it's 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 unfortunate but we got to do what we got to do certainly the feet in grand isle just took it the hardest jefferson parish president cynthia lee shang is working with fema to help those in harder hit areas like grand isle and lafitte specifically to provide housing to give people a chance to rebuild um, people want trailers they want trailers at their house they want to be able to rebuild their lives and that requires them being on their property and being able to physically do that rebuild. And get their lives back on track. Some days it's fun, some days it's, it's fulfilling, and some days it's like you just want to go home and call it quits. And there is assistance for small businesses struggling after the storm. We posted details on how to contact FEMA and other agencies on our website, www.tv.com.